Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 4 of the Adobe Premiere tutorial series. So today what we're going to do is we are going to look at opacity. So let me just save this as lesson 4 on my file and then continue on with where we left off. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just take a few clips right here. So I'm going to delete them out so that I can show you the opacity and keyframing option in Adobe Premiere Pro. So what I've done here is that you can actually see that I have my video layer right here. So what I can actually do is that my default uh, timeline is where the video is in a small uh, piles there. So what I can actually do to use pen tool right here uh, is I can add keyframes uh, to my uh, opacity and my properties right there. So we're going to uh, focus on opacity and volume right now, uh, as about now. So I'm going to, uh, I have my three clips right here. Let me just drag in an audio clip. And if I do not select an in and out point, what I can actually do is I can bring in my uh, clips directly onto the timeline as well without selecting the in and out points. So when I do that, what happens is that it brings the entire uh, audio or video instead of just a portion of it. So you know, I can also uh, do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, uh, use the pen tool here uh, in order to um, you know, change the settings right here. So in order to expand this, what I can do is I can expand this area just a little bit. So it uh, does not expand from here, but you have to go to the left side right here and then expand it and you can actually see that uh, the video actually appears. I can also do the same with the audio. I expand it down for that and I can see an audio layer just like that. So here what you can see is you can see a line of uh, left and right and you can also see a line over here. Uh, so this is the left audio channel and this is the right audio channel. So here you can see the line, uh, a small line which I can bring down or up and as I do that you can see the brightness of the video actually goes down. So this is not actually the brightness, it's actually the opacity. So if I you, uh, keep the video onto the second layer, what I can do is I can reduce the opacity. Let me just bring in another picture over there. Let me just, okay, bring in a smoke layer right about here. Okay, so let me just mute the audio for a while. To mute the audio, I just press the M track. So if I were to reduce the opacity, I can also increase the size just like this and decrease this. Uh, so you can see that I can see the layer beneath my uh, video layer right here. So this is also how you use the layer. So we are uh, covering up that in my lesson. So let me just, just press Control Z so, because I want to go back. Uh, if you don't see the handle, however, you can right click and you can go to show uh, key, uh, clip keyframes go to opacity and turn on opacity right there. So we are going to look, look on motion and a time remapping in other lessons. For right now, we are going to focus on opacity right here. So once you focus on opacity, then you're able to see these lines just like that. And here you can also uh, uh, do it with audio. For right now, I have my volume level. You can also uh, choose other options from right there. And uh, just like the video, we are just going to focus on the volume right here. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, see what can be done uh, here. So I can reduce the opacity. This is up and this is down. And similarly, what this line in the audio uh, does is it helps me to decrease and increase the opacity, uh, not the opacity, sorry, the volume of the audio clip. So you can see that once I drag in, uh, it says 4.86 uh, dB. So that's the value for volume or I can go into minus. So infinity is where the volume is totally off. All right, so by default, the volume is in zero. Uh, so what I want to do is I want uh, the video to gradually increase its opacity and I do not want it to start off straight like this. And also for the volume, I want it to uh, start off with a low volume and reach the peak uh, as it reaches the other timeline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add something called a keyframe and that can be done with the help of the pen tool right here. So it is different from the pen tool in Photoshop where you actually draw things. This is actually used to add in keyframes directly onto the uh, 
onto the clips right here. So I can zoom it in so that it's easier for me to work. So what I'm going to do is click on the pen tool. I'm going to drag a point over here and then drag a point over here. So remember that um, the line, uh, when the line is up, it means the opacity is at 100%. And when the line is down, it means it's at the 0%. So I just gradually drag this line just like this. So uh, let me see the length of it. Uh, this is, you can see that when I play the video, it uh, gradually increases from low brightness to bright brightness. So this is quite fast right here. I do not want it fast. I want it to slow down. So I'm going to increase the length of it. Let's say, let's make it one second right here. So this is the one second range for the video. And you can see that the video gradually uh, increases in the opacity. So what I can do is I can use this to make simple transitions manually. So uh, let's just drag this out. So this is the same video. I'm going to bring in some other videos right here. So let's see. Uh, let's bring the candle video right there. The in and out point is already set. But anyways, in, out, drag and drop. I just want the video layer. So I'm going to drag only the video so that I don't get the audio. So what I'm going to do is uh, increase this in size. All right, let me just uh, zoom out a bit. Increase this in size, keep this at the second layer. And what I want to do is I want to gradually decrease the length of the video right here. So I'm going to uh, keep a keyframe right here and then here drag this down and you can see that a simple transition happens. So you can see that a simple transition happens right there. So I want to scale this. So right click and select scale to frame size so that it fits. So you can see that I can easily create transitions just like that. Play it and there you go. So this is an easy way to create a manual crossfade. Same goes for the audio. So let me turn on the audio right now. So you can see that the audio is abrupt and comes instantly right here. So what I want to do with keyframes is that uh, I'm going to select my pen tool right here, click here and drag this down. So when I play this, what happens is that uh, the volume gradually increases. So let's hear that. So you can see the volume gradually increases instead of abruptly sewing up. So I can do the same with uh, audio here. The layer alignment does not really matter with the audio when it comes to fading. But here, uh, the layering actually matters because the one that I want to sew in the video actually has to be on the top. So and the uh, one beneath should be the one covering up. So I'm going to bring another soundtrack. Uh, let's choose this one, select in and out point and uh, drag the audio onto the second layer. So I'm gonna increase the length as well. All right. So as you can see, I, I actually uh, don't have enough space to work in right here. So if I were to press the tilde key, that's the uh, top right corner key in the keyboard itself. Let me just show that to you. Uh, it's the, this uh, key right here. Many people don't actually use this. Okay, where's the on-screen keyboard? You can see this key right here on your keyboard. This is the tilt key. And if you were to press it, what happens is, is this key right here. Uh, just remember this, the one with this icon right here. It's called the tilt key. And when I press the tilt key, what happens is that I need to be on the selection tool for that. Uh, it actually expands that area of the premiere for me. So if I were to go here, press the tilt key, that expands. Now this expands. So I can actually work with individual layers just like that. So let me just expand this. Uh, I want to select my uh, pen tool just like that and then click over here, drag this down and let's see what the result sounds like. So now you can see that the volume for the audio one actually goes down, but the volume for audio two actually starts abruptly. So what I want to do is I also want to add in uh, a fade in right here unlike the video where I want the video to be shown. So once I play, what happens? So you can see the gradual change in the audio actually appears. So now what I, I can actually do is I can make a simple slide saw out of this. So I'm going to quickly make a slide saw by using the same technique. So I'm going to go over to images and go over to uh, my uh, photos right here. So I got this. Uh, I, I have three photos right here and just simply go drag them onto my timeline just like this. So drag one photo 
like two photo and you can see that this are, these are much larger than uh, my video and what I can actually also do is I can double click and resize the video. So once you double click, what happens is you can pan around and you see these handles right here, you can resize it. You can also do this uh, for the video. So it's similar to After Effects actually. So I can resize and keep the uh, size of the image I want. So I can drag it to the right, resize and then increase. All right, there you go. So uh, this is the final image that I have. Let me just drag it down. All right, so I guess I don't really need to resize this one. So I want to make a simple slide. So using the same technique right there. So I'm going to arrange this in a ladder like shape. So press the tilt key and then I can see a view uh, that is okay for me. Uh, I'm going to simply uh, arrange this in a ladder like shape just like this and then uh, use my pen tool in order to create a transition just like this and just like this. There you go. So I also want this to fade start out and fade down at the end. So the end result is this. Okay, let me press the tilt key. So I guess uh, my tilt key is not working because I'm using the pen tool. So, uh, all right, tilt key. Uh, just click on an empty space, tilt key. So let me just play this and you can see uh, that it has a gradual fade effect to my slide so so I can easily create a simple slide so just by using the pen tool right here let me just add in a music to it quickly so let me choose energized uh, I guess this starts pretty slow so I don't want a slow music right here all right so lucky day all right uh, I can cut the portion of the video sorry the audio and then add in a pen tool fade, fade down to up and at the end, fade up to down, just like that. Add in the cut and then delete. All right, so I have a simple slide, so right here. All right, there you go. So I got a simple slide so that I can share with my friends online and uh, this actually but is pretty easy to do so anyways hope you guys learned something as always and uh, thank you very much for watching please like comment share and subscribe